Understanding REST parameter and spread operator in JavaScript is very easy. So here I have just declared a simple myFunk function inside which I am receiving three parameters a, b and then this dot 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 rest. So this dot 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 is the syntax for rest parameters and just in a moment I will tell you what does this dot 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 rest parameter actually means. So here I'm going to call my func function and now you can observe that I am passing few values to it. Well, to be exact, not few values, but more than three values, which is called as argument. So parameter is the local variable that we receive inside the function body. And when we pass it the value, we call it argument. Now you can again observe that we are passing more than three values to these parameters. So a will be mapped to this one and b will be mapped to this two but what about these remaining arguments well these remaining arguments will be stored in this rest parameter in the form of an array so always remember that a rest parameter is just a local variable inside a function which actually returns an array of unused arguments so here if i say console.log a b and rest you will see that we get a 1 b 2 and then the rest of the arguments are returned in the form of an array so here a is 1 b is 2 and then this entire arguments which remain unused is in the form of array so if you pass some more for example you can say yeah. and you will see that these two values will also be stored in this rest parameter so if i save there you go you see we get john and wick so this is simple rest parameter all it does is that it takes all of the unused argument and then it pushes into its own form of an array now if you receive one argument here if you call it c parameter not argument so now you will see that this true will be stored in this c parameter I need to call it and now the rest of these parameters or arguments rest of these arguments to be exact will be stored in this rest parameter so if i save now we get true stored in this c and the remaining arguments are pushed into this rest array now some rules that you always remember about using rest parameter is that a rest parameter should always be declared only once you cannot use it twice so now you cannot say that comma dot 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 rest two. no it is illegal and rest should always come as the last parameter so it's not like that just take it and call the first parameter as rest no so if you hover over it you see the warning a rest parameter must be last in a parameter list so let's quickly fix that there you go now also it is not mandatory to call it rest you can call it anything you can call it args you can call it rest args and just reference it here and there you go you'll see the exact value so no need to call it rest always it is called as rest parameter which is okay to use as the variable name but again feel free to call it anything just use this dot 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 syntax to create a rest parameter okay and now since it is an array you can perform all sorts of operations that we have on array for example um, for each right we can loop over these items so i can say uh, i can say what rest args dot for each and uh, i'm just going to print all of the items i'll say console dot log I could have used an arrow function with very minimal syntax but let's write in detail okay so if i say i you see we get false john to three john wick okay and uh, if you want to let me comment this out if and if you want to access few values out of the array you can just say console dot log rest args of index zero and it will give you false so if i save you get false if you want the second index you can just reference the first since arrays are indexed with zero so if you write one you will get the john as the output okay so if i save you get john so this is a rest parameter now what are a spread operator 
Similarly, we have this spread operator. So the syntax for a spread operator is also this dot dot dot. And so since we have this dot 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 for a spread operator as well as this dot 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 for rest parameter, this automatically becomes a point of confusion for beginners. And so when I was learning JavaScript, it also became a point of confusion for me. But trust me, both of them resembles with each other and very easy to understand. So if you have two sets of arrays, for example, array one, which contains numbers and array two that contains few string data. And if you want to combine both of these data to create a larger array, you can use a spread operator. So you just have to create a new variable and you can call it large array or whole array data. Just call it anything that makes sense. I can call it whole array data equals to now here I will open an array block and here I just have to say dot 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 array one comma dot 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 array two. So the entire data inside of this array will be spread into this whole array data. And now if you say console dot log whole array data, you will see that it is it will become a larger array that contains this entire data. So if you save, you get this larger array with both of the data combined together. So the spread operator is used to expand or spread data inside of any table, such as array and objects. And so yes, we can use this spread operator on objects as well. So I'm just going to define two object and I'll keep it very simple. And I will say ID one data to be random okay. and I'll give one more object obj2 and then here I'll say name to be John and the last name to be so quick, quick and now I can combine both of these objects to create a larger object so I can just say const larger object or large object equals to dot dot obj1 comma dot dot obj2 and now if I say console dot log large object you'll see the larger object. So if I expand, you see the data from both of the objects. So object one and object two, both of them has been combined to form this larger object. Can you find some resemblance between both of them? This dot 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 here and this dot 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 here. It's very simple to figure out. So always remember that when the spread operator, so this one is used as a parameter this becomes a rest parameter it is known as a rest parameter okay so this spread operator on its own is useful to unpack data inside of an array or an iterable very simply and uh, then create a larger group larger block when you use a spread operator inside a function as the parameter that becomes a rest parameter isn't it that easy so I hope this video was very useful for you to understand the difference between rest parameters and spread operator. I will see you in the next one. Please make sure to like the video and subscribe because I keep posting such useful and quick tutorials on programming. I'll see you in the next one till then stay safe and happy coding.